I would go to national and international meetings and physicians would talk about how do you treat stress incontinence and they would talk about pelvic exercises and they would talk about surgery and they would not talk about supportive devices at all and that really got my goat. Uh, so I wanted to uh, make it um, possible for women to get access to a product which clearly, it clearly works. I was just out for a walk at lunchtime when the, this idea came to me out of the blue, if you will. And uh, I uh, went home and got out some plasticine from my, one of my daughter's play kits and made the first model of the Uresta Pessary out of plasticine. Uh, and then um, went on from there to, to actually develop it. I had a patient a few years ago who was a bagpipe player and leaked when she pl played the bagpipe. And she used the uh, arrested bladder support, that stopped the problem. And she took it with her to Europe uh, to a bagpiping competition. Uh, we had another patient who uh, was planning to have surgery, uh, but was also going to climb Mount Everest. She was fitted with the arrested bladder support. I don't think she went to the top of the mountain, but she went to one of the base camps and was very happy. I, I hope that it, it um, has the effect of ensuring that when those lectures are given in the future, they will always be mentioning uh, bladder supports as one of the options for, for treating stress incontinence.